Hello, my name is Da Qiancheng. My name is Hao Wenshi. We're from the Robotics Institute at Carnegie Mellon University. And today, we're presenting our paper on a compact and infrastructure-free combined space sensor for 3D scanning and SLAM. High precision inspection and metrology in short range confined spaces is challenging because of the space constraint and lack of external positioning infrastructure. In our paper, we present a framework for creating a miniature sensor that is able to perform 3D reconstruction and simultaneous localization and mapping without sensory feedback from external devices. An example sensor design following this framework is also presented, which is miniature, infrastructure free, short range, and low cost. Development of real-time 3D localization and mapping has made infrastructure-free localization possible, benefiting a wide range of applications. With self-localization capability, it is possible to develop handheld 3D scanners which use the estimated pose to stitch up partial scans from multiple viewing angles to reconstruct the object surfaces. Commercial off-the-shelf sensors such as Kinect and RealSense sensors are popular devices used to scan 3D objects but they are not designed to work in close-range confined spaces due to their sizes and large minimum scanning distances. Additionally, these sensors acquire depth information by projecting dot patterns which are sparse, making the reconstructed surface rough and inaccurate. There are also industrial handheld scanners such as the Sense Scanner and HandyScan 3D based on stereo structure light. They are highly precise and infrastructure-free, but bulky and extremely expensive. Lastly, there are dental scanners based on confocal laser scanning, which can reach small spaces with a low minimum scan distance and great accuracy. However, the long probe is not flexible enough to fit in tight corners. Following the design framework we proposed, we created a low-cost sensor prototype, which is miniature with the size of a fingertip, performs well in close range, and has self-localization capability. Our sensor framework for designing miniature 3D sensors addresses several challenges. Because of the size constraint, only one camera can fit in the system. This single camera is used for both detecting laser stripes and visual slam. Laser stripe detection benefits from high contrast images with low exposure revealing only the high intensity laser projection. On the other hand, visual slam needs well illuminated images for better feature extraction results. You can see the two requirements contradict each other. Additionally, Monocular SLAM suffers from scale ambiguity compared to stereo SLAM because of unobservability problems. Scale ambiguity makes localization inaccurate, which dramatically undermines the scan quality. In the following presentation, we will first discuss some methods used in our sensor framework, including first, hardware design, second, sensor model and calibration, third, camera exposure time multiplexing and synchronization, and fourth, localization and color recovery. Then, we will show some scanning experiments using our scanner prototype, followed by the conclusion. Our proposed sensor has four subsystems, sensing, illumination, computing, and mechanical housing. The sensor is fully self-contained and does not require external devices for normal operations. The RGB camera and IMU in the sensing subsystem provide visual and inertial information. The illumination subsystem includes a single-line laser profile projector for 3D reconstruction and a white LED flood illuminator array to help with surface color acquisition in dark environments. Together, the sensing and illumination subsystems form the core monocular structure light configuration in our proposed framework. Computing and mechanical housing are optional components for enabling onboard processing and weather sealing capability. In our monocular structure light configuration, Depth information of each incident laser pixel is triangulated by solving a ray plane intersection problem, where the plane is the laser plane, and the ray is cast from the origin of the camera frame, passing through the normalized image point of the incident laser pixel. A subpixel laser center finding routine based on center of mass was implemented to achieve subpixel accuracy. Given the sensor model, there are two sets of parameters that need to be calibrated. The camera parameters and the laser plane's location relative to the camera frame. We designed an all-in-one calibration process to obtain these parameters without the need for external positioning infrastructure. We first move the sensor around to take snapshots of a known checkerboard with the laser stripe visible on the checkerboard plane. We then obtain the camera parameters using MATLAB's computer vision toolbox. Using the inverse projection function, 
we reproject 2D laser points back to 3D locations in the camera frame. Finally, we perform RANSAC to robustly fit a plane given all reprojected laser points, as visualized in Figure C. We develop a sensor data acquisition scheme, which alternates camera exposure settings to generate two types of images for two different purposes. The long exposure images are well illuminated and are used for visual slam. The laser is also switched off for these image frames to avoid interference with image processing. The short exposure images for laser extraction have a high contrast which makes laser extraction more robust. Localization is needed to register individual laser scans into a global point cloud, and our sensor localizes itself by visual slam. Step 1. We set up a conventional slam problem which estimates keyframe poses and the depth of visual features using observations of these visual features. We can represent this problem as a graph optimization problem, where the circles represent states that we optimize over. Since the monocular slam cannot recover the metric scale, a common approach incorporates an IMU to provide state transition information under metric scale. However, low-cost IMU under slow camera motion in confined spaces often cannot provide accurate scale. To accurately estimate the scale, we observe that the laser provides accurate depth with metric scale. Therefore, the feature depths on the laser point cloud can be accurately estimated. So step 2, we retrace the observation ray to intersect with the laser point cloud and compute the depth prior for those features. Step 3, we incorporate this laser-based feature depth prior into the graph optimization problem, which makes our SLAM algorithm a visual laser and inertial fusion. Compared to visual inertial SLAM, which relies solely on IMU, our SLAM estimates scale more accurately which results in better translational localization accuracy. With the alternating image frame acquisition, our sensor is also able to generate photorealistic colored point clouds by associating laser pixels on short exposure images with image pixels on adjacent long exposure images. Given a laser pixel on a short exposure frame, to find its associated pixel, we first project it into a 3D world based on camera pose estimation and then reproject it onto an adjacent long exposure image frame. To reduce noise, this process is performed on several adjacent frames and we use the average pixel RGB value. For experiments, we first evaluated the localization accuracy, since it often determines the mapping quality. Considering the onboard sensor suite, we compared our SLAM algorithm against the state-of-the-art visual inertial SLAM algorithm namely Vince Mono. The experiments were performed by hand-holding the sensor and scanning a keyboard with figure 8 motion patterns at approximately 10 cm range. The five tests had an average trajectory length of 64 cm and an average speed of 6.5 cm per second. Results showed that our SLAM algorithm had a translational error three times smaller than Vince Mono, and a similar rotational error. From the plotted trajectories from one of the tests, we can see that the error difference was mainly resulted by different scale estimation. We also qualitatively evaluated the mapping quality from handheld scan. The video on the left shows how we perform handheld scans, and the video on the right shows an additional demonstration under combined rotational and translational motion. We qualitatively compared the reconstruction results against a commercial off-the-shelf sensor, namely Intel RealSense D435, which is one of the smallest offerings with infrastructure-free capabilities. We conducted handheld scans using these two sensors on an aerospace part and a keyboard. The figure shows results of one-pass scans using our sensor at 10 cm range and four-pass scans using Intel RealSense at 20 cm range to obtain relatively denser point clouds. By comparison, our sensor was able to reconstruct finer details and more smooth surface quality. In conclusion, the novel sensor proposed in this work is infrastructure-free, operates under short range, and is able to achieve low cost and a compact size. A novel SLAM algorithm based on visual, laser, and inertial fusion 
is developed for localization. These features enable users to hold the sensor in hand and perform 3D reconstruction in confined 3D spaces. Finally, it's capable of photorealistic 3D reconstruction with a single camera sensor package by generating two alternating sets of images. Restraining to a single camera allows us to achieve low cost at sub $50 in the compact size. We believe our sensor has potential in many applications, such as reconstruction in industrial and medical confined spaces, or it could serve as an any factor sensor for robotic manipulators and perform in-process inspection. This work was funded by Boeing Strategic University Program. Thank you for listening.